Okay, so welcome back to the wardrobe. So what look are we going to go with today, Hanami? Okay, we're working on color blending. Mm -hmm. We're moving past matching right. and having colors that complement each other, that harmonize, evolving nice. past that. Nice. So what do you think about that? That sounds good because I like colors myself. And yes. You know, I moved away from and the matching thing. Them, yeah. You know, people come out in all white, all black, which is good. But I yeah. think color blending, spicing up the wardrobe a yes. bit is always good. But you have to know how to do it. Yeah. It's not just about throwing everything together. So let's do a color blending look. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, welcome back. This is the color blending look that we've done. It's like a contemporary take on the ice gold and green. So nice. that's something that we really this is love. A nice look. Well, I love this shirt. Let me just start with the shirt. I love the pattern on the shirt. Yeah. You know, it's very unique, but it's not too bold and it fits in very well. Again, we're always looking at fit for mm -hmm. men. Um, pants again, fitting very well. And I like what you said about the ice gold and green. Now we're doing it in a different way, as you said, in a contemporary way. Yes. So we're in like a maroon pattern shirt, mm -hmm. a nice neon belt, yeah. and a nice faded pastel kind of green. That's yeah, really nice. Yeah, nice mint green, yeah. And, and yeah. don't forget the flossies, the shoes. Can't you know, you flossies. wanted to balance it off using white. You know, go yeah. back with the whole outfit and everything. Fantastic, again. And to make the look a little more casual, you can just roll the sleeves up if you've got some muscles to show. Yeah. But my guy here, yeah, you can roll it up for a casual look. And I like the buttoned up look. It's right. It's, it's in trend right now. You think? Yeah. yeah I've definitely. Seen people walking around. I, I like the look. You know, apart from the button down thing, if you yeah. don't have a chest, so you don't have any chest <laughs> you want to show. But no, definitely. I think it's nice and streamlined, and it actually gives your shoulders a stronger look. Yeah. So that's the thing you can look into. You can think. About I love that the as roll well. cuffs. Definitely, I love the yeah, roll cuffs. Very trendy. Really great. But let's talk about the sunglasses. Nice. They're from Smith Optics. They're called the Low Down. I love the frames. Ooh. They're crystal. They're in the mirrored lenses now, which are really trending right now in mint green, and they kind of have a reflection of blue. So I kind of think that they reflect what you're wearing at times, and, and depends on your environment as well. You think really love these. You think yeah, so? probably picks up Who your knows? mood. Yeah, right. yeah, great. Thanks very much to Sun Collection at mm -hmm. Grove for providing these nice sunglasses. Yeah. All together, this look is, is perfect. Fantastic. And Republic 21 for the, the look as well. Okay, Raymond, we have a question from one of our viewers. Let's have they it. want to know how you can avoid getting razor bumps when shaving. Oh, that is a very good question. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think a lot of it goes into the preparation, how you prepare okay. your skin before you actually get into the shaving. Okay. So, the first thing you want to do is probably maybe wash your face with some nice warm water so you can soften up the skin, soften up the hairs. See? Especially if you have curly hair, you're going to want to get that hair nice and soft so it doesn't curl back up into the skin, mm -hmm. which is what actually causes the razor bumps. Oh, I see. So, okay. after having moisturized the skin, you want to use a nice oil base um, shaving balm yeah. foams it can dry your skin out a little bit so a nice oh. oil based one is very good mm -hmm. and the next and very important thing you want to do is when you're shaving with the razor you go with the grain of your hair mm -hmm. when you go against it you're going to make them very blunt so mm -hmm. that causes them to grow back into the skin it can be very painful you do not want that after though you definitely also want to wash your face with cold water you know after that irritation you want to just kind of cool it back down and I soothe see. it with a very nice moisturizer and you should be good Thank you for watching the show. If you want to see this episode and bonus clips, go to our website, wardrobetvshow.com. Yeah, and to check out the look that we created today, go to our Facebook page, Wardrobe TV Show. Send us your pictures, like it, share it, send us your comments. We'd love to hear from you and interact with you. Sounds good. Thank you for yeah. watching and see you again soon.